what bothers me about Roger Stone being on the grift again, uh, trying to solicit funds from the gullible InfoWars audience, uh, isn't even the fact that he's doing it for the despicable Alex Jones. It's the fact that he brings Christianity into it. Alex Jones is a good and decent man. He's a God-fearing Christian. Uh, he's done more for this movement than perhaps anyone you can name. And right now, he needs our support. There's a place at the InfoWars store where you can go just to make a contribution. He knows his audience. Uh, and Christians often blindly uh, uh, follow th these uh, false prophets and charlatans uh, right off a ledge uh, and, and will happily part with their money to support these ridiculous causes. Mark Twain said, if Christ were here, there's one thing he would not be, a Christian. Gandhi said, uh, I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike your Christ. This is nothing new. Christians not looking like Christ, the noxious fumes of uh, of, of the dissolution of the walls between separation and church and state is causing this uh, white nationalist religious movement in politics. And, uh, and it becomes a kind of savage warfare against anything, uh, any kind of outgroup uh, that those Christians may find disgusting or reprehensible or uh, immoral. Uh, it, instead of serving others' needs, especially those uh, who are unlike us, uh, or especially those who don't like us. Um, we're called to, to serve as Christians, everybody, including, including those who hate us. Uh, it, it becomes, uh, instead of that, uh, a, a lifestyle of opposition to anybody who doesn't fit the mold. And uh, it's entirely unchristian. And so w when we see people like Roger Stone and Alex Jones exploiting those people uh, and and the uh, the twisted animosity that they have towards those that they should be serving. What do we do? What are we left with? I think I just want to return for a moment to the teachings of Christ when he was uh, giving a scathing rebuke to the Pharisees in Matthew twenty three. Um, he he often returns to what our life should look like in uh, in opposition to to the to the ultra pious, the super religious. Who wear their uh, their their position in the in the church uh, on their sleeves? Uh, he, he said, "But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted." We should estimate greatness by how we serve and honor others, uh, not in uh, how uh, uh, ritualistically pious we are. Uh, not in the accolades that we receive from others. Um, Clark said this, in a word, like all their successors, referring to the Pharisees, in spirit to the present day, they were severe to others, but very indulgent to themselves. How true is that today? If look at Alex Jones, severe to others, very indulgent to himself. <laughs> I mean, look at Roger Stone, uh, lives for warfare. On January 5th, he said, uh, uh, an epic struggle for the future of this country between dark and light, the godly and the godless, good and evil. It, this is right before the events of January 6th. He was talking about how uh, it's uh, there's a, a war between good and evil. And of course, he's presuming, I think, that he's on the side of good. <laughs> okay. Uh, but this this idea that we should be at war with one another is... It, is antithetical to the teachings of Christ, who taught explicitly that we are to serve one another, that we are all brothers, that we shouldn't even call each other, even the rabbis and teachers, father, rabbi, that we should remember that we are all one, and that there is only one uh, person that we serve, that is, or one being that we serve, and that is uh, God, that, that there is only one father, I should say. Uh, how counterintuitive to our thinking how radical that back then, this was an issue that uh, Jesus was able to put a finger on, uh, but that it's still relevant today, that he knew it was worth talking about. Uh, he, he knew it was worth finding its way onto the pages of scripture uh, because he knew that this would be uh, a thorn in the side of a society trying to progress towards uh, hu human qualities of love and equality and fairness for all, not just those who look like us or, or fit our 
uh, concept of good. Philippians 2, 4 says this, uh, do not look to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. And scripture makes that very clear, that we're not to qualify who we serve, that we're just supposed to serve. So I think to combat the Roger Stones and the Alex Jones of the world, uh, the continued call from politicians to arm yourselves for this war between good and evil, uh, we have to remember, pick this word up, put it on our hearts, memorize it, remember that we're called to serve and love equally in all, uh, even those who hate us. And that is what it means to be a Christian. And that is what it means to undo uh, and, and make untrue the words of Mark Twain and Gandhi. We should be so lucky.